Norwegian billionaire building world's biggest yacht. A Norwegian businessman is giving away a sizable part of his fortune to build this boat. The research expedition vessel is currently being constructed in Norway's barge shipyard. According to Yacht Harbor, it will be the world's largest vessel when completed in 2020. The vessel is 182 meters long. It can carry 60 scientists and 40 crew for research voyages and 36 guests and 54 crew for private excursions. The boat will reportedly be fitted with advanced sonar technology, as well as a trawl that can go to 3,000 meters in depth and a moon pool for underwater vehicles. Any of you guys planning on renting the boat? If so, let us know below. Big and bold. This boat's bigger than Big Ben. When Russian billionaire industrialist Andrei Melenchenko decides to build a yacht, he doesn't screw around. Melenchenko already owns this $300 million beast, but his latest vessel is even bigger. At 143 meters high, sailing yacht A is 10 meters taller than Big Ben in London. This is due to its three large carbon fiber masts. The vessel was reportedly piloted using touch-sensitive controls, meaning its gigantic sails can be raised and lowered by the swipe of a screen. Using a sail-assisted motor, it will reportedly be capable of cruising at around 16 knots or approximately 30 kilometers per hour. The yacht will likely be manned by a crew of 54 and have room for 20 guests. It will also feature eight floors, a helipad, and a swimming pool. The vessel has already been spotted sailing in Gibraltar and Monaco. All aboard! Ever wanted to drop 10 large on a train trip through rural Japan? Well, aren't you in luck? The Shikishima train debuted in Japan in May of this year. The service, operated by East Japanese Railway Company, chauffeurs passengers around northeastern Japan on up to almost 1,300 kilometer round trips. The train departs Tokyo's Ueno Station and guests sleep on board overnight. The Shikishima travels at 110 kilometers per hour, three times slower than the Shinkansen, Japan's famous bullet train. The 10-carriage train includes five standard suite cars, one car for a deluxe suite, and the Shikishima suite, plus two observatory cars for viewing and two cars for lounging and dining. Observatory cars allow passengers to take in panoramic views of the Japanese countryside. The train can accommodate 34 passengers in its 17 suites. The Shikishima's dining and lounge cars also allow guests to view the scenery outside. The train's appearance and interior decoration was designed by Ken Okuyama. Although it comes with a hefty price tag, the train service is already booked through April of next year. Mech's loop hyperloop design could connect 42 million people. Need to get to Mexico City from Guadalajara in a hurry? Mexloop Hyperloop may be able to help out. Mexican consortium Mexloop is proposing a 330-mile Hyperloop system that would connect four cities in central Mexico, Mexico City, Cuelatalo, León, and Guadalajara. The trip would take about 38 minutes compared to the current six hours it now takes to drive between the two cities. Stations would be located close to airports, rail freight hubs, and train stations in order to maximize transportation infrastructure efficiency. According to Mexloop, a Hyperloop system would only be two-thirds of the cost of a high-speed rail system. Mexloop's proposed system would provide a more efficient transportation system for 42 million people. The consortium also says building the Hyperloop would help boost the economy as well as ease traffic congestion. Japanese drilling boat to probe the Earth's mantle this Japanese drilling boat could soon be the first ever vessel to penetrate the Earth's mantle. The Earth's mantle is found deep beneath the planet's crust and is much thinner on the ocean floor than on land. It's with this in mind that scientists plan to use the Chikyu drill boat to bore into the mantle by 2030. After sinking four kilometers to the ocean floor, the boat would drill through six kilometers of crust before reaching the mantle. The researchers want to investigate the mantle itself and also if microorganisms exist within it. 